Okay, today is Saturday the 28th, I think, of August, and uh, I'm here in my kitchen. It's uh, about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and um, the kids and uh, my wife Nicole are asleep, and I'm shooting this on my brand new uh, bit of swag from Teaching Posse at RIT, which is the professor's open source summer... Uh, experience and uh, the reason I know that is because it is printed on the face of my brand new flip camera which was so wonderfully uh, sent to me by uh, Mel Chua and Sebastian Zillis of Red Hat uh, and I'm using it to talk about today I'm going to talk about uh, this beer that I've uh, just finished bottling uh, we brewed this about 10 days ago uh, myself I say we myself and uh, some friends who um, came over uh, Scott and Pam and uh, my friend uh, Susan Higgins and uh, what this is is this is a small beer I'm gonna take a drink a sip of coffee a small beer is uh, a style of beer that was brewed during the Revolutionary War when the British taxed um, malted grains and uh, malting is uh, a rather uh, abstruse science and, and, and takes uh, some att attention and there weren't many if any malt houses in the United States and so all the malted uh, grains that were used to make beer were, were malted in England and then shipped over um, but during the Revolutionary War the British or prior to the Revolutionary War the British taxed it like crazy because they knew Americans had a taste for beer and so Americans in response came up with at least one recipe for uh, what's called small, what they called small beer. Small beer can also be called other things, or sm other things are also called small beer. And uh, what small beer is is uh, basically a beer not brewed with uh, malted barley or uh, some other malted grain, but with molasses. And uh, I brewed with uh, my friends. Uh, we brewed a, a batch of uh, small beer using four. Uh, well, it was uh, three pints of molasses in a five gallon uh, carboy and we hopped it we put some fresh uh, uh, Klaus Tower Klaus I hope I'm saying that right Klaus Tower hops in there um, in a um, uh, cheesecloth bag and uh, hopped it and so then today I bottled it and here is these are the bottles that just wouldn't fit in the two cases that I have down below in the closet. One hiding right there. You can see that Hire's root beer book crate is a, is a crate of beer. And there's another one hiding right there behind the thing. And they're going to ferment for a little bit while longer. Fermenting in the bottle. Well, they're not really fermenting so much. Well, they, they are a little bit. Uh, they will uh, um, carbo uh, carbonate uh, more in the bottle. Each bottle has about between a quarter and a half teaspoon of sugar in it so that the yeast has a little bit more to eat. And while it's in the bottle, the yeast will eat the sugar and it will turn into carbon dioxide gas and maybe a little bit more alcohol. Uh, I checked this with the barometer that I... Uh, not barometer. Excuse me. Hydrometer. Uh, that I got off of eBay, and uh, it put uh, the alcohol content in this is actually rather low, which I expected, um, because we only had about we only had uh, three pints of uh, molasses in this. I think if I were if I'm to do this again, I'm going to put a lot more molasses. I might even double the amount of molasses that goes into this. Um, but it's, a lot's going to depend on what the flavor is like. Didn't have a ton of hops in this, and. Um, and um, so I don't know how it's going to taste, but hopefully it'll taste good. We may be able to taste one this evening. Uh, carbonation, once you seal the bottles, happens quick. And my phone is ringing, so I'm going to go.